Gary, commiserations on that loss, but thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me after that one. Um, I do just want to flip back uh, to reflect on the first map of this series, which was Ancient, where you guys were looking really solid coming into things. We were slightly surprised to see uh, outsiders picking into this map. Did you expect them to be picking in here, where you kind of had a, a game plan going into things? Yeah, we didn't expect they, they pick uh, Ancient, because we, we won really convincing against Movistars. Uh, but we are really confident in, in, in playing Ancient. We, we practice a lot and uh, did great for us. Um, with Vertigo as well coming in as your pick as the second map into this series, obviously the last time you faced Outsiders on this, you won pretty convincingly. This time around, it looked like they had a much uh, better CT side coming into things. What was kind of the biggest difference for you in terms of the Outsiders you faced last time around versus this time in the server? Yeah, normally play uh, Outsiders on Vertigo. We, we always play against them. Uh, we know how they play, and this time uh, they are not just playing uh, passive, they are fighting much more on ramp, and we lost a lot of fights there. Like, we, we had to play 3v4s three, three times, I think, and we didn't uh, convert. So it was really tough on this side. And on city side, uh, we lost like uh, one first buy, and this is, this is really difficult when you are so behind on the, the, the score. It seemed like even coming into Inferno as well, when you tried to pull off, you know, that classic Fury, a hyper-aggressive style, it seemed like outsiders were kind of quite well prepared for that. In your opinion, was it just a case of outsiders perhaps being more prepared coming into that map? What was so difficult about kind of getting any rounds on the board versus them on Inferno? Uh, on Inferno, we, we had the chance. We, we lost, I think, two 5v4s and one 4v3, and we, 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 we got, like, really good re reads against them. We, we knew what they were, were doing, like, uh, uh, getting banana or playing uh, uh, bike on, 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 on A. Or, so we, we, did, we really know what they are doing, but we didn't convert the, the first kills. And this is really difficult. And again, we, we can't convert this on city side after losing the pistol again. I do want to focus on the RMR going forward. Of course, the Americas one is just around the corner as well. And for you, especially as a team you know with the major, coming to Brazil is going to be really crucial for you to qualify there. What is the approach going to be going forward? What's the practice schedule for you guys like going into the RMR? Yeah, we have like just a few days to practice and we need to like uh, fix all the problems we had in this tournament. Uh, we knew uh, when we play Pro League and uh, after we need to play RMR, everyone is watching us because we are one of the favorites of the uh, RMR. But we need to fix uh, really quickly to go there and do our job. I know it's probably hard to say right now just coming off of that loss, but is there anything specifically that you feel like you're going to be focusing on as the coach of Furia coming into those next crucial matches in the RMR? Yeah, we need we need to focus on our advantages. Uh, yeah, we need to convert all those those rounds, and uh, when we play RMR, we will have like so much pressure uh, because we are the favorites or are one of the favorites. So we need to try to convert and talk about these kind of rounds. Well, really looking forward to seeing what you guys are going to be delivering at the RMR. Thank you so much for your time once again.